then one of very important post operative complication of tooth extraction that can happen is called as dry socket the dry socket this term was given firstly in 1896 because of lack of exudate and loss of blood clot in the socket and this term has stood the test of time and is still preferred by many it's a unique abnormal healing of the socket rather than delayed normal healing that might be expected with the poor general health so term dry socket is also called as alveolar osteitis localized osteomyelitis alveolalgia acute alveolar osteitis localized osteitis or alveolar alveolitis sicca dolorosa definition of dry socket very unpleasant local complication of extraction of the tooth where there is a disintegration or breakdown of the clot of the socket coagulum and exposure of bare bone of the socket very painful condition result in localized osteitis involving either the whole or part of a condensed bone leaving the tooth socket the lamina dura with varying degree of severity of pain so signs and symptoms surrounding gingiva often shows inflammatory reaction swollen and dusky red the site of pain can be clearly identified as the site of removal of the tooth 48 to 72 hours later regional lymph nodes can be enlarged in this condition tender and increase in temperature although is not usually seen the diagnosis of dry socket is confirmed by gently passing a small probe into the socket when in case of dry socket the bare bone which is encountered will be extremely sensitive also the empty alveolar socket is covered by grayish necrotic tissue excruciating severe pain halitosis surrounding gingiva exhibit mild inflammation patient is unwell due to lack of sleep more frequent in females than males more common in mandible three times more in the molar region general factors causing dry socket is debilitating disease decreased resistance like in diabetic patient anemia liver disease endocrine gland dysfunction protein deficiency patient like vitamin a b c d deficiency Peges disease, marble bone disease, myelosclerosis, irradiating jaw. This condition will have high risk of alveolar osteitis and may progress to frank osteomyelitis. The local factors leading more chances to dry socket is insufficient blood supply by the anatomical uh, structures or by pathological changes, more bone density. Case of Peges disease, marble bone disease reduces the PMN circulation. Pre-existing infection already like pericarditis cases or marginal periodontitis. that will increase the incidence of dry socket and in vincent's infections in invitation to trouble the use of too large amount of local anesthesia with the vasoconstrictor temporarily inhibit the vascular component of the inflammatory reaction and would tend to favor the establishment of local infection post operative bleeding may also be one of the causative factor wider stripping of periosteum and severe of attachment of muscle and other trauma that you have created during Uh, extraction that leads to liberation of tissue pro activator causing for increased local fibrular lysis fibrular lysis is breakdown of the clot trauma to the alveolar bone during extraction damages and devitalizes the bone of socket wall and thrombosis of underlying vascular plexus reducing the resistance to infection increase the local release of plasminogen activator weakening of local cellular defense mechanism and facilitate bacterial infection infection during or after the extraction causes salivary contamination can happen disturbance of the clot root or bone fragment of foreign bodies left in the socket excessive irritation creatage after extraction can lead to dry socket as well pregnancy disease repeated injections or interligamentary injection heavy spitting or sucking patient has not followed your post operative instructions vigorous rinsing plague with tongue or finger smoking irritated jaw has reduced blood supply the factor which influence vascular function such as oral contraceptive smoking menstrual phase increase incidence of dry socket because it is known to increase in fibrolytic effect treatment of dry socket relieve the discomfort and pain prevent show any further infection that can happen promotion of healing so symptomatic treatment should be relieve pain and speed up the resolution the socket is irrigated with warm normal saline or dilute solution of 3% hydrogen peroxide to remove the necrotic material all degenerating blood clot and food debris to be washed meticulously removed curettage of socket to stimulate the bleeding or to remove the debris not favored allows the infection to penetrate deep into the bone so curettage is not a good idea here sharp bony spurs to be excised cotton wool or gauze soaked in dressing material packed in the socket chemical cauterization of bare bone can also be done and giving analgesic 
Hot slime mouth bath should be advised review once in two days and change the sedative dressing. In separative type of dry socket, you can advise antibiotic to prevent progressive involvement of adjacent part of bone to combat the effect of bacterial contamination if it has happened. Otherwise, you don't give any antibiotics in dry socket cases. Metronidazole, for example, 400 milligram TID five days in pus, reducing dry socket conditions. You can see they're giving a sedative dressing here of the zoe. The dressing materials for dry socket could be of chlorophenol, which has camphor, menthol. After acute symptoms subside, you can change it with neomycin, basitracin gauze to prevent any infection. Zoe plus LA, dry socket which has perished for weeks, lined with yellow brown bone and which show no sign of healing. Drawback, delay in healing to superficial necrosis of the bone and nerve handling. It can add to more local tissue damage though. Whitehead varnish doesn't relieve pain, but good antiseptic can be kept for two or three weeks without changing, which has tick benzoin, storax, balsam of tolu, iodoform, and solvent ether in it.